Hello everyone, welcome to Just Invest Today. And in today's video, we have to talk about all the hedge funds leaving the market or actually rotating their money into different sectors. And this is huge news because remember, institutions run the market. They have majority their money in the stock market. And as retail investors, we can kind of run the market if we do it coordinated, honestly, like GameStop. But how many times does that really happen? So look what's happening in the market right now. It's honestly absurd and crazy. Look at this rotation. 26% into metals and mining, 11% into aerospace, 10% rotation into oil and gas equipment. So just look at what's happening and look what everyone's leaving. Insurance, telecom, technology, software, Bitcoin, retail, internet is the lowest. And we see that in the market, which all of these internet stocks or technology stocks are getting crushed 6.4%. Look at the 12 months performance. Biotech 39% decline, retail 0.85, internet 39% decline. And this is what's happening in the market. And you have to honestly interpret this as being very positive. Everyone wants to see the bad side of things, but this is good because institutions raise prices to crazy highs and they lower prices to crazy lows. Things are going bad. All of their clients are scared. They'll be like, oh my God, what are you doing with my money? Stocks are crashing. There's a war going on. Everything is happening and they're trying to leave the market. So you have to do the opposite of what they're doing. Big money unloads stocks as day traders buy in spiraling market. Can you please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'm always providing you guys with so much new content man so subscribe 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 this is a perfect example of what to do right as the big money the institutions drive these markets you're driving these markets to all-time lows day traders and actually retail investors are actually buying into these markets and this is amazing because they're doing the opposite of what the institutions are doing because remember institutions hate uncertainty they hate the pandemic they hate this um the ukraine russian war going on they hate inflation they hate the fed maybe raising rates all of this is going to drive the market down which is good because you're buying companies that you love at a cheaper price so keep that perspective the Dow has fallen four straight weeks as the VIX is near 32 recession signals are servicing and war in Europe is dousing sentiment. And this is what's going to keep driving the market lower and lower. Amid heightened microeconomic uncertainty, trepidation is building among pros. Hedge funds which cut their equity exposure to the lowest level in almost two years in February kept trimming into the new month. Wednesday, when the S&P 500 rallied almost 2%, Clients tracked by Goldman Sachs cut long positions and covered shorts. So that's what's happening, man. People are just scared of what's going to happen into the future. But you already know institutions are going to rally back when the sentiment kind of shifts. But we don't want to get in when the sentiment shifts. We want to get in at these lows. It's like what Warren Buffett always said. Are you happy you're buying a burger for $5? And then the next day, you see the burger, the same burger you see for $2. You're going to be happier when the burger is at $2 than when you bought it the previous day for $5. So that's how you have to look at the market. Because the market, remember, over a 5, 10 year span, the market will recover. If you're buying good quality companies with solid moats that actually have strong earning potential with pricing power. If you're doing all those things, you don't have to really worry. Count retail investors among the optimists. The crowd has purchased a net 36 billion of equity so far in 2022 so they're doing the opposite of the hedge funds the most at this point on the calendar in at least five years jp morgan shows for all the uncertainties the bull case still has been hard to dismiss all the economic growth is expected throughout this year and next so our earnings for corporate america and while raging war hurt investor appetite for european equities at some level it helped solidify the american first trade so you have to understand the bear and bull market and what's going on in the market right now. You want to be a bull in this market. You don't want to be a bear because if you're buying strong companies that are going to keep their earning potential growing into the future, you really don't need to worry because you're buying businesses cheaper. So that's it for the video, guys. Please like it, subscribe to my channel, and get back to you in the next video. Peace.